I think one thing I've learned in real estate is that when people uh, find a niche and they get good at it, they realize that the more people they bring on board and they share equity with that, well, it dilutes, it dilutes their holdings. And so people have gotten smart in outsourcing uh, as, as much as they can. And I don't blame them. If I were, if I were them, I'd probably do something similar. Um, But if you're on the other side of that, you have to recognize that's where they're coming from and find a way to add value long enough to, to gain their trust and to potentially join them as a partner at some point down the road. Uh, but everybody takes a different path. So That's great. Yeah, and it's a good lesson. I think uh, it's actually really interesting just hearing a little bit about um, – the jumps and the, the experience, the well-rounded experience you've had, obviously all real estate related, but just really touched on a lot of different areas, property management, residential, commercial acquisitions, disposition. you really in a pretty short amount of time, I've hit a, hit a lot, uh, which is, it's, it's probably going to serve you well. Cause you can, <laughs> yeah, it can serve you well. Right. So uh, unfortunately yeah. it's, it's a pretty brutal market for real estate right now. Um, <laughs> but you know what? Uh, there's always somebody out there waiting for that good deal. And there are still people out there looking for, for good property to buy, uh, particularly in the multifamily sector. There's mm-hmm. still uh, enormous demand for that. Uh, it's been upwards of a decade. It's been like that. Everybody's saying, oh, it's it's overheated. It's overheated. <laughs> At this point, all you can do is just kind of, there, there's a really famous quote. I think you've heard it. It's uh, the market's ability to stay irrational it can, is longer than your ability to stay liquid or, or something right, like that. Right, right, yeah. Um, so at, this, at a certain point, you, you realize some, some investments do have maybe more legs under them than people had thought before. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you just have to find out who's buying and who has the war chest to uh, keep the staff uh, afloat during this, this very awkward market period. Mm-hmm.